Okay guys, you're gonna need three pounds of butter, unsalted. If you use salted, the salt will just go to the bottom. It's not a big deal. This makes a little under 32 ounces of ghee. Um, you're gonna put this on medium low heat, anything higher and it will burn. You never want to leave the ghee when you're clarifying it. Phase one, that butter is just melting and the milk and water goes to the top. Phase two, um, it's just still separating. And I just scoop it out, the solids and uh, water from the top. It, it turns into foam. I just scoop it out and um, put it in a separate container. It's just easier to see what phase the ghee is in by doing that. This is phase three. The ghee is forming a film on the top. Um, and this is just more solids. Everything's coming up out of the butter. The straight fat is just separating from the milk and water. This phase, um, the milk solids are starting to clot and this is how you know you're getting closer to the end. Phase five, the, the butter turns translucent. Most of the milk solids are gone. At this point, you just have the few solids that are left and it's gonna be really, really loud. That's how you know you're almost at the end. This is phase six. That's just excess water coming out. Remember, everything is coming out of the butter when you make ghee. At this point, um, and when you get to this golden brown translucent consistency, I turn the heat off. It's all done. I let it cool a little bit and then I scrape off those solids off the top. The other um, particles are at the bottom. If your heat is too high, that will burn. Get some cheesecloth and put it in a jar. Go ahead and strain your ghee once it cools off a little bit. You don't want to do this right off the heat. And look at all that stuff left over in there. I got this bag from Amazon and I use it for my yogurt also. And um, there you have it. There's your liquid gold ghee. It's just stored on the counter. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. Don't let any moisture get in there because it will ruin your ghee. If you want to salt it at this point, you can, but I don't. It makes it grainy and I don't like that. Thanks for watching.